earth did you end up in Taiwan modeling and you know st starting a TV career? I had an internship in Taiwan and that's that's what brought me there. Plus I wanted to learn Mandarin so I spoke Spanish, spoke English and I thought hey if I can conquer you know Chinese as well Mandarin then you know you covered a lot of the world. So and my parents are from Taiwan and I'd never been there mm -hmm. so I was like this is this is a great opportunity so I spent six months there and learning, you know, just being with fire, you know, the fire department and the ER and everything. And, and one day, somebody on the street just kind of literally said, hey, do you want to do a commercial? I was like, oh, well, okay, that's, that's fun. And of course, your traditional family over there in Texas, what yeah. did they think about your change in career? My parents themselves had a big change. I mean, they moved themselves from Taiwan all the way to the U.S. So Was in, this in the 70s or the 80s? Uh, no, earlier than that, in the 60s. Mm. In the 60s. So it was really early on. And in that way, they're not very traditional. But of course, my dad being an Asian dad, you know, and he has a daughter, so for my sister's a lawyer, so, <laughs> so they have, you and know... And if you had more brothers and sisters, oh they'd God. be doctors yeah, and engineers. engineers. exactly, exactly. <laughs> and he's an engineer, oh my God. And my mom's an accountant, so they're like, you know, yeah. typical. Traditional oh my God, a traditional Asian family, oh okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, as traditional as you can get. Um, so my sister is here, you know, this this dream daughter, and then here I am, I was going to the dream daughter, you know, route, and then suddenly I'm like, Mom, I'm going to quit medical school and, and do underwear commercials. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and my mom was kind of like, eh. but they are very supportive. Um, I did I did the smart thing I think at that at that time when I was like do you know what I will retake the MCATs I will get into medical school again to show you that I can do it and then I have three years um, they kind of give you they allow you three years where you can you know kind of take kind of put on the waiting list mm -hmm. so I did it I actually studied again and I got into medical school again and then I had that I had that little you know trump, trump card yes my trump hmm. card was like okay I've done this already I've proved to you I can get back in medical school let me have three years to just do what I want to do and do what I need to do for myself mm -hmm. and they were very supportive my mom was very supportive my dad had no idea what I was doing in Taiwan so when I got fun Taiwan on Discovery Channel he just thought I was playing he's like okay you're eating a lot. <laughs> like, so you're, you're, are you getting paid to eat? I was like, yeah. <laughs> the, the concept of, mm. of a travel show right. and, and being a, 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 having a career as a host just was just beyond him. Beyond him. <laughs>